Ralph Bagnall here, Consulting Woodworker. If you don't have the space in your shop or the budget for a dedicated disc sander, this is a 1 8 inch plate. It's been machined flat. It's used for setting up your table saw. Uh, this is from my friends at infinitytools.com. I use it to set the arbor or the blade of my table saw perpendicular to the, perfectly parallel to the miter slot or the arbor is perpendicular so that I get accurate cutting. The cool thing is that you can also buy from them a hook and loop system with a hook piece that bonds onto the back of the, of the uh, plate and has sandpaper, 10 inch discs, that have the loop side on the back of them which will turn your table saw into a dedicated disc sander. You have all the space you could possibly want on here for a table and you have all the power of your table saw. Now to make this even more useful, one of the things that I really like to do with this sort of a setup is I like to create the miters in my inlays. This is a um, mahogany banded, cross banded inlay that, I, that I've created and in order to get a really true 90 degree miter, I like using this sort of a setup. Now, you can use your miter gauge that comes with your table saw to do this. But every time you set it up, it might be just a little bit off, just a little bit not quite 45, 45.1, 48.9, whatever. With this sort of a setup, this is just a piece of scrap plywood, and I've very carefully cut a true 45 on it. By utilizing this piece every time I want to miter my, my um, inlays, I always know that it's going to be the same. And so my setup is always going to be very, very good, very accurate. Now I can do this with a 30 degree angle on here or a 22 and a half degree angle on here. I can make one of these with whatever size or, or, or angle I want. And what I use is micro jigs zero play miter bar mounted to the back side. I like the zero play because it's short enough that it fits on a, on a small jig like this. It's two pieces that move in opposition to each other so that it can be adjusted to exactly the width of my miter slot. So when it's adjusted properly, there's absolutely no side to side play here. So it's always going to be very, very accurate. I've got about five inches, five and a quarter inches from the disc to the center line of my miter slot. So I allowed for about an eighth of an inch so that I don't get any rubbing. And then it's just three holes drilled and counterboard through four inches on center. Now I've included a set of plans, a quick drawing of this that you can download from the same place that you're watching this video from. And this is a, just a quick and easy way for you to get really super accurate, very easy and safe miters on small thin pieces, very accurate, and six months from now, if I need to make another one, I can just grab this piece, set it into the table saw with my sanding disc, and I'm ready to work. Stay safe, my friends.